Welcome back to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 2-23 from RC Nipaler Engineering Statics 12 edition. According to this problem, if theta equals to 30 degrees and F2 is equals to 6 kN, determine the magnitude of the resultant force acting on the plate and its direction measured clockwise from the positive x-axis. So to solve this problem, let us first break down the force F2 into its components. So this is the F2 force. It has two components. One vertical component. And one horizontal component. Let's label them. Now, this angle right here is also theta because they are alternate angles. This component right here is F2 cos theta. And this component right here is F2 sin theta. Now we have two more forces. The force F1 is directed along the positive x axis. This is our F1 force along the positive x axis and F3 is directed in the negative sense of the positive y axis. So this is our F3 force acting downwards. And this right here is F1. Now for the resultant force. We have to remember that resultant force, because this is a 2D problem, the resultant force has two components, F bar X, the X component of the resultant force, and the Y component of the resultant force. So for the F bar X, F bar X is equal to the sum of the forces in X direction, Let's, let us consider that this direction is positive and that the right hand side is positive. So we have F1 force that is 4 kN minus the horizontal component of the F2 force that is directed in the negative sense of the positive x axis. That's why it's negative. F2 cos theta. Now F2 is equal to 6 kN. And theta is equals to 30 degrees. So F bar x becomes 4 minus 6 cos 30, which in terms becomes negative 1.196 kN. Now we have to find the F bar y. So for F or Y, F or Y is equal to the sum of the forces in Y direction. I am considering up direction as positive. So we have F3 force but is in the negative direction. So it's negative 5. Then the vertical component of the F2 force is also in the negative sense. It's also F2 sine theta. Now again theta is 30 degrees and F2 is 6 kN. So Fr y becomes so Fr y becomes negative 8 kN.
now we have to find the magnitude of the resultant force so for magnitude we can apply the Pythagoras theorem it's equal to the square root of frx squared plus fry squared so it becomes negative 1.96 squared plus negative 8 squared and the whole square root so it becomes 8.09 kilonewtons so the magnitude of the resultant force is 8.09 kilonewtons so this is our first answer Now we have to find the direction of the resultant force clockwise from the positive x axis. So, if we draw the resultant force, we would have this right here is the positive x axis, that is negative x axis, that is positive y axis, and that is negative y axis. The resultant force has negative x component, so it would be directed like this. Also, the resultant force has the negative y component, so according to the head to tail rule, the y component would be directed like this. And the resultant would be drawn from the tail of the first vector to the head of the last vector. This is FRx, that is FRy, and this right here is FR. Now we have to find the angle clockwise from the positive x axis. Which means we have to find this angle. Let's call this alpha and let's say this angle right here is theta. So let us find the angle theta first. So for theta, tan theta is equal to the FRY divided by FRx. Which in terms equals to, we are just considering the magnitudes, alright? We are just considering the magnitudes. So it becomes 8 divided by 1.196. So from here, beta becomes, beta is equals to 81.49 degrees. Now we know that. Alpha and beta are forming the 180 degrees. Alpha plus beta is equal to 180 degrees. So from here, alpha is equal to 180 degrees minus 81.49 degrees, which in turn becomes 98.51 degrees. This is our second answer, and this is the direction of the resultant force measured clockwise from the positive x axis. So, this is it for this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any question or any doubt about this problem, then you can ask it in the comment section, and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.